and the programs. When we hear information, or when people are talking, right, sometimes at a conscious level we can decide what we want to hear and what we don't want to hear. You know those people, the minute they open your voice, you think, oh God, here we go. Because what they're going to say is either going to be good, going to be boring, or I'm not really interested. So we just... <laughs> but then we get loads of stuff coming in all the time. And what happens, or what's been suggested, proposed, is that we have a way of filtering information, or sorting information out, right? There's various ways that we do that, right? One of the ways is through this thing called meta-programs. Now, you can read books, and one book will give you, I don't know, 20 meta-programs. Another book might give you 30, 10 of the same 20, but 20 different ones. Another book might give you God knows how many. I think you can go out, just on and on and on and on. What we're giving you is several, right? I'll, I'm going to give you some. Uh, they're all in the book, but there's actually even other ones within the book. Right, so this is how we filter, or one way that we filter and sort out the information. Right. And, as I say, these are just some of them. Right, so, and in no particular order, it's just the way they've been written. So, sort for good, sort for bad. So, very similar to, in a sense, half empty, half full at times, but that also links into another one. But it's those people, you know, when somebody says something, or something happens, you just sort for all the good things within it. Right, that's what one extreme. At the other extreme, right, is you just sort for bad. Right, so two people go on the same holiday, come back, you say to this person, how did your holiday go? Well, bit of a rough start, because the flight was delayed an hour, uh, but we got there, uh, and the weather was really good, and the food was, you know, spot on, and etc., etc. You see, the other person, how do you hold it? Go, fucking hold it, God. We're arguing before we even left the house in the morning. The taxi was 15 minutes late. There was right miserable cow driving it, and bloody moaned all the time on the plane. Kid behind, kick, kick, kick. Got, got there next door. You think, hang on, you're on the same holiday here. But it's no, it's just how they filter the information. And there's no, and although you may believe that you won. And therefore, oh, well, I get on with other ones. That's not what it's about. So there's a need. Right? There's a need for everybody. Right? At work, I had two colleagues, one who sorted for good, one who sorted for bad. I tend to sort for good as well. So if I had a report, and it was going to be submitted, and I wanted it checked, I didn't give it to the person that sorted for good. I actually give it to the person that sorted for bad. So say, oh, Harry, actually, you've missed a word there or a chapter there or whatever. Right? Although I sort for good, and normally like sort for good people, if I was, say, flying away on holiday tonight, and the plane lands at the airport, and the engineers go on to check, I want engineers who sort for bad. That's not good. Don't people say, oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. The fact that a wing is falling off, they don't notice that, right? Now, that's an extreme example, but, and I've got no doubt you're already processed and thinking about people that may or may not fall in that category. Important thing to point out here is that you don't necessarily, or you're not necessarily always at one end. Right? We can be flexible. Right? We can be flexible. But what you tend to find for ourselves is, oh, there might be certain circumstances or situations that I do tend to sort for good, other ones I tend to sort for bad.